What's up guys? So, after our first day of charging with the uh, little PWM controller on the big uh, four wheel drive battery I've discovered what's wrong with the battery and why it's got no real guts It has no liquid in the top half of the cells So uh, we're going to fix that I'll give these a little bit of a top off I'll Give it a good charge and uh, see if it comes back so it's uh, got 12.7 volts in it now. Fill it up with liquid, see if that goes up or down, and uh, we'll pile some charge into it and uh, see what happens. That explains why it's uh, absorbed a bit of charge and then died. Which is uh, dry as a bone. Oh, still a bit of water, electrolyte down in the between the cells, but uh, we better start filling it up. Alrighty, so we've topped them up. A little bit more in this one, a little bit more in that. Righto, topped off. I've always been told to keep it below that little vent slot. That allows the bubble to come out and not splash the acid electrolyte solution out. This was in a uh, four wheel drive Mazda turbo diesel ute. It's had a hard life. Now, we've dropped down to 12 and a half, but we are running two USB chargers off it and it's not going to have a huge amount of current anyhow at the moment so what we'll do is we'll connect this up through the pulse switch modulation charger and uh, through this watt hour meter oh that's right, we've got to hook it up to the capacitor alright then, got the power supply dialed up to 18 volts maybe about 1 amp, maybe a little bit more okay, runs into the big capacitor then runs over and feeds in here where the solar panel goes in up to the PWM so uh, at 12 and a half volts now we've actually got some electrolyte solution in the battery we'll wake the uh, PWM up watch it push some power in 17, 20, 20 watts Give it some more amps. I'll let it have five amps. There we go. Pushing out 64 watts at the moment. We'll give that a bit of time and see how it goes absorbing. It's popped up to 13.9, but that's that's not really accurate. It'll drop off hard under that, but. Pushing in nearly 5 amps at uh, 15 volts going through the charge controller there. You see it started to pulse. We're going to have a fairly consistent. See how it carries on. Let's back the current up a bit and see if that smooths out. So we'll leave that go at about two and a half amps and uh, push some charge in there and we'll get an idea of how many amp hours go in there and we'll just check this and make sure it's not getting hot. So let's give that a charge up and we'll come back and uh, see how much power we managed to push into it and whether it's uh, a waste of time or not. Alright guys, so update for you. We're putting about 100, 140 watt hours uh, a day into that for the last couple of days, it's been a few days now uh, It was just getting right up on the charge controller up to float and just sitting there And uh, then you'd put a flat USB power bank on it, it would knock it down into the low 12s and Put this power inverter on it and you'd be able to drop it Down into the 11s, so it's got no guts left It's fairly well toast We might play around and see if we can desulfate it with a special charger I've got Which has got a rejuvenation mode in it but in the meantime, we've uh, chucked this normal car size battery up here. That's taken a lot more current, no worries at all. So, uh, just today by itself, oh no, that's been reset, never mind. Uh, we're currently taking 26 watts 
into it at the moment, but we are uh, discharging with a power inverter just for the sake of testing. If you haven't seen the video about that beast yet, search Grow Watt in my videos. I had it putting out two and a half kilowatt hours, two and a half kilowatts uh, just before. So, yeah, that's all there is to the uh, big lead acid battery story, unfortunately. Uh, we're about to have a wind turbine to play with uh, until I sell it, but uh, in the meantime we'll set it up and see if we can get get some free power out of it. But uh, We'll charge and discharge this thing a few times and see what kind of capacity that one decides it wants to shell out and uh, after that we might end up rebuilding my lithium pack and putting the lithium pack back up on the wall and using that instead because it's just uh, just so much more uh, powerful and more reliable. So thanks for watching guys. Um, if you're not subscribed, there'll be a link here somewhere. If you uh, want to check out some more popular videos, there'll be a link somewhere along there. And uh, thanks for watching.